Hey everybody, it's Dr. Riser. If you like what you see in our videos, make sure you click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos about functional medicine, nutrition, and tips on how to reclaim your health the easy way with Functional Health Center of the Carolinas. What's up guys, this is Kelly, your functional medicine nutritionist, and today I have a question for you. Is juicing good for you, and is it good to you? Do you enjoy juicing? Well, it has been said to say that juicing contains more nutrients and has more nutrient absorption. It also helps flush out toxins. It helps you detox your body. And most importantly, for a lot of people that choose juicing, it helps them lose weight. Is this true? Well, with juicing, it has a lot of pros. Number one, it is readily available. And this is 100% true. I cannot begin to tell you guys how quick and convenient it is to grab a juice on the go versus carrying a handful of celery, carrots, and pineapples completely readily available. All right? And it also is easier to digest. When you take the juice in, it goes straight to your body and your body can absorb it in a quick, easy way versus having to break down that fiber, all right? And it does detox your body. A lot of people that choose juicing, they use it for a detox and they use it for weight loss. So it's taking liquids in and flushing all or a lot of the toxins out of your body, helping you lose that stubborn weight. But there are cons, all right? So a con to juicing, it removes all the fiber. When you juice and it removes the fiber, your body needs to have those healthy gut bugs. And if you don't have the fiber, your healthy gut bugs aren't stimulated. So you need that fiber. It also contains a lot of sugar. I don't know when the last time you guys have been to the grocery store and you picked up a juice and you read the back of the, of the bottle and it contains so much sugar, almost more than an actual soda. The daily recommended amount for a woman's body for sugar is 25 grams of sugar. For a man, it is 37.5. That is how much our body can break down. So if it's any more than that or close to that, it is way too much, all right? And along with that, another con is that it, it causes instant insulin spikes. And every single time your insulin spikes, you are in fat storage mode. You are no longer burning fat, you're, you're storing fat. So with that being a drink, you're constantly spiking the insulin up and down, which can lead to insulin resistance, prediabetes, and diabetes. So is juicing good for you? Yes, it can have its pros, but it can also have its cons. But with that being said, there are a couple of alternatives that I would try that will make your experience a little better, all right? If you're going to juice, try to juice at home or either know exactly what you want before you go to the juice bar. I would recommend you choose low glycemic fruits to do your juicing, low glycemic vegetables, and enjoy, all right? The next thing you want to try is reverse juicing. So a lot of times, what happens is you juice, they remove all of the fiber, and they throw the pulp away. Well, with reverse juicing, they keep the pulp and throw the juice away. So you can eat the pulp by itself, you can put it in a yogurt, and enjoy all the fiber and the nutrients that you need from those fruits and vegetables, all right? And you can always blend. So instead of juicing and getting rid of everything, you can blend it all together and keep everything that you need. And lastly, I would make sure that I have my juice in the middle of the day instead of in the beginning of the day. Why? Because if it does contain a lot of sugar, because that nutrient has been broken down, that fiber has been extracted, you do not want that insulin spike first thing in the morning. You would rather get that after you set the tone in the beginning of the day, all right? So have it midday and possibly with the snack, I request nuts or a protein-based snack with that juice and you should be good to go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We will see you in the next Whiteboard Wednesday. Bye.